Hi guys, Paul back with a video and what I thought I'd do in this video today is uh, show how I make a key to a, a cylinder. Now this could be a Euro cylinder, rim cylinder or a half Euro or a, a cylinder that can be extracted and stripped down. Um, this can be used for. Now this isn't impressioning although there is an element of um, at the end where we may have to do a small amount of impressioning to get a full and complete opening. Now how I'm going to go about doing this is um, by using the tools that I have to hand here in front of me. So, well, tools and the lock of course. Now I have the keys to this cylinder. Okay, so this is, this is all I've got the keys here, I'll, I'll go into a little bit more detail in a sec. Um, I've got a circlip remover, a pipping file. So a pipping file is like a, an aeroplane wing. Um, so it's thick and bulbous on this side and thin and sharp on this side. Um, ideal for this um, task. I've got a, an old tool that I've converted into just to like a scribe. I've sharpened that down to a point. We have a shim. We have circlip pliers for um, when we put the circuit back on for crushing it back onto the cylinder we have an impression in handle okay and a plug follower a small anvil um, and that's it in terms of tool wise that we all we need for the time being now why would you want to make a key to a cylinder there's a few various uh, scenarios so you imagine you've got a job for a customer who has a communal block of flats and you can't get a key for whatever reason and they're desperate to get a key to show tenants around etc um, and you can't just go there and replace the cylinder because obviously it will cause upset with all the other tenants etc etc um, or it could be a case of it's an obscure cylinder that you can't get hold of anymore and you want to be able to make a key to something or rather than traveling for miles and ordering stuff and doing a second visit you can always remake a key as it is to this cylinder or you can actually change around the pin configuration inside and create a totally new key so there's various reasons as to why this is handy and if like me um, over the months you end up with an odd cylinder a few cylinders a brand spanking new no keys then this is ideal because it allows you to make a key uh, to a particular cylinder that you own um, and put it back into service now i do advise to use brass keys um, especially doing this part that way it's the material softer, easier on your files, a lot quicker. Um, and then with that, you can then copy from a key machine, whatever, onto a steel key or a genuine steel key if you wish to do so. Um, but for the purpose of this, I will show with brass keys. OK. Now, although I have the keys, typically to do this, you need to have the cylinder picked. OK, so whether that is by the keys, but if you've got the keys, then you're not obviously going to need to be making keys. So I'll just show you that these keys work, okay, that this cylinder works. But for the meantime, the customer's lost them keys. We've got a few variations of how to get this open. We can either pick it, electric pick it, pick gun it. Uh, you can even bump them. The only issue with bumping, obviously, once that plug's turned, you can't extract the key. But obviously, once you've got the plug out, you can do it then. Um, so that's just something to bear in mind. Um, now I like to use a method um, shimming it. Now I could do this easier for myself and just show you with the keys, but of course, why would I do that? Um, why would I make my life easier for myself? So what I'm gonna do is use a uncut blank, push that in, okay? So it's just ready to go. I'm gonna remove the circlip. Now if you're careful, you can reuse the circlips after. Try and be gentle with them. Don't do what I just did and drop it on the floor. It's okay, I managed to save it. Okay, so obviously that's locked at the minute. Now what we're going to do, we're going to use this key. So this key is going to insert, push all the pins up. So it's going to push them to the highest point. So when we go in through the back with a shim, so we don't have to necessarily pick it. You can't really do this with a Euro. Now, you might be able to do it with the odd half euro, possibly, or some other cylinders, but um, as I said, there's other methods for picking. So what I'm doing is I'm putting inward pressure on the shim. The key's fully inserted, and as I pull the key out, 
just giving the shimmer and you should just see that just moved in one depth and again and again now you've got to be really careful because it's quite easy to push the we could quite easily pull the plug out doesn't help because I'm trying to do this behind the camera I can't see too well but we'll get there got one pin left okay so that core is now fully turned now this has got all the pins in it and I'll show you so that no one can question it okay so I'm going to turn that core to about the two o'clock position Take my plug follower, push that through to, to that to the side. So you can see in there, all five pins are in there. Now the way I like to do this is pin one is at the front. Pin one, pin two, pin three, pin four, pin five so we now have an empty chamber or empty plug um i'm just going to adjust this other camera okay so i've got two cameras on the go so hopefully some of this will um if i need to do a clearer shot on anything i can do right so now what i can do is i want to get my spacings okay now as you can see i've inserted that key and you should be able to see that pass for all of them chambers so I'm going to put pressure crush them together and then using my sharp scribe okay and because this is brass I want to go center on the pin just mark it pin one two three four you should be able to just see some silver reflections well now I'm just going to put it on the other camera hopefully that will all show you should be able to just see five little dots shiny silver dots okay what I'll do now is I'm going to mount this in my impressioning handle now as I said we're not impressioning so don't get this confused impressioning not at this moment in time anyway take my anvil just to give me something to place my key on now just be mindful that this might sound like an dentist so if you're a bit um, sensitive to sound you might want to be careful or be prepared to turn your sound down so all I'm doing now is just literally filing on top of them And just about C position. Position one. Okay. Now, what we want to do is just test that. Make sure we're center on. And I'm happy with that. So now what we can do is take our first pin now you need to make sure these pins are tapered at both ends okay i don't know why i think it's just a poor cylinder so they're actually used any way around but typically you'll have a flat end and you'll have a bullet tip end the bullet tip end is what touches the key so just be mindful when you're stripping the cylinder down and remember the order that if you've got to make an exact key and put it back to how it was make sure you keep take a photo whatever you need to do to ensure that if you do knock the pins whatever you put them back in the right configuration because if you knock them out and you don't know where they were, you've just created yourself a whole new problem. Okay, so just be very careful. Now, as you can see with this one, it's just peering over the top of that chamber. Okay, just peeping over the top. So we need to be careful when removing material that we're not going to remove too much. Okay, 
Now this file is really good and it removes a lot of material really quickly. So we want to keep the file straight, the key flat. One, two, okay. So you can already see how much material that's used in just two strokes. Okay, so it's still just peeping over the top. One, two. Okay, that's just peering over the top ever so slightly, but enough that I'm not going to really worry about it. Okay. Obviously, don't forget the keys bouncing in the plug, so... Okay. So be careful putting one back. I'm going to take two. Now, two is quite a long pin, so we need to be careful of creating canyons and everything else like that okay so we need to come down a considerable amount for position two you'll notice i'm only filing in one direction because if i go backwards and forwards it makes a lot worse sound okay so you can see i've started to create quite a deep valley there So that is coming down. The only thing what I will do is probably just move that canyon over. So you can see it's not like a shape now. It's an actually nice chamfer for it to ride up and down. Okay, so we still need to come down some more. So it's getting there. Now the reason I'm banging the file is just to it collects dust quite easy brass as it's quite a soft material, it's quite easy to clog your files up. Okay, so as you can see it's slowly dropping beneath. Now we don't want to remove too much material for obvious reasons because we're not able to put it back and then we render our key useless. So we need to be extremely careful that we don't go too far. Okay, so probably about another four strokes would do it really, but one, two, three, four. Okay, so that conical shape is just poking up over the top. I'm trying to get that on the other camera. That's it. And again, because we're creating a bit of a, a valley, we just want to make sure. we're keeping to our spacings okay now when I push that pin down it does travel down so I'm going to leave that pin where it is so I don't go too far with it okay so again we go to position three so it's only a small amount of material to be removed from three one Two, three, four. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, probably another two or three. One, two, three. Okay, so that's just peering over the top. Um, so I wouldn't, at this moment in time, want to take it much further because we can impression the last part so that we know that we get a nice working key. We go to position 
just drop that in chamber five position four okay so we've got another deep cut to make so it's quite easy so i'm not when i was doing that i'm not pushing down i'm just doing it lightly to remove the burring okay one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so you can see the shape that the key's taking i know that i'm still gonna have to go quite deep with that i mean it's dropped considerably already but i think we're gonna have to go as deep as position two one two three four five okay so you can see it's still peering over the top and what's happened now is that canyon because it's such a like a hook shaped when that pin drops down it won't let you pull the key out so what you have to do is just tip the pin out the key will come out okay so that we need to iron out that before we do anything else okay so we've got rid of that cone shape on that side so we're just going to go this direction okay so that's a nice okay. so we shouldn't have to tip that pin out now okay let's get in there and it comes out nice and easy Now some people use round files, some people use triangular shaped files. I prefer this because I find it's easier for me to control it. I mean, it is typically used for impressioning and we are doing a form of impressioning. So, okay, so that pin is getting there. Let's get rid of our... So when I'm I'm not pushing down on that one now, I'm just leaning it over to the wall and just letting the file drag across to get rid of them canyons. Pushing that pin down. But you never know if it's just a burr pushing it up. So it is slightly sitting proud. Sorry about that, that's gonna sound horrible on the the video okay so i'm going to leave that where it is you might just see it peering over the top okay it's just peeping over the top but we can deal with that pretty easy position five is quite shallow so we can be careful with the material that we're going to move on this one one two three four test it okay get yourself if you're going to do this get yourself into the habit of keep checking don't get too cocky it doesn't matter how good you are as soon as you go one stroke too many you're causing yourself problems okay there we go it's just starting to drop down there so we're up to the chamfer of that pin so a little bit more okay so probably another one or two lighter strokes one two I'm happy with that okay so now we can load all of them pins back in to have a quick once over you know it doesn't matter if there's a tad over the top we'd rather them be a tad over than a tad under okay so you look at that now position two and four are sitting proud five is just a tad okay so 
so five is at this end so five four sticking up slightly but i think we can deal with that quite easy okay so what i'm going to do now is do the reverse okay being mindful Actually, what I should do is make my life easier now because then pins are sticking up a tad now. Okay, let's do it sensible rather than cause myself grief. Okay, lock that back up, put our tail on, get our sir clip. Okay. Get our circlip pliers. So these pliers just literally crush the circlip on. So we take the keys that we lost that don't exist just to show the cylinder still works, okay? And they've mysteriously disappeared again. And then we take our key that we've been working on, okay? Before I put that in now. I just want to make sure that these valleys are not too steep, okay? Because if they're like egg shaped, the, it's harder for the pin to hit it and slide up. So we just want to make sure that we chamfer them all to lessen the chance of getting the key stuck in there. Because if we get the key stuck in there, we're knackered. That's fine. Okay. Just going to put the key in and out a few times just to get rid of any burrs on the key. Okay, so let me grab my vise. Should have prepared this earlier, Blue Peter style. So what I'll do now, just apply, and as you can see, that's going round, okay, but it's stiff. That's not a bad thing, okay, because hopefully when you look at this key, you'll see that position two and four, and even a tad on five, I don't know how well the camera's going to pick this up. Okay, so position five, position four, I've got little impressions on them, a little black mark. So that's telling me that that pin is being pressed. It's being forced into the, the plug, or well, the pin's being jammed into it. Okay, look, super smooth, still a little bit of resistant fully, both directions I mean you can do it like that okay but it's not perfect so I don't know if you can see on the back edge of position four and five there's light impression in marks okay so the back edge of four and five there's tiny little black marks <laughs> But they're not actually black, it, they're like a shiny brass colour, but they do appear black, okay. Super easy now. Again, resistance in some places. So I'm going to pull it towards me. Okay. Turn it, I'm going to push it away from me and turn it. And then just look, and again, position four and a tad on five. We've got tiny little marks, and there's a little mark on three. Okay. So a small mark on five, small mark on four, and a really small one on position two. Two. Four. And five. 
and that is smooth as anything. So we're just gonna again pull it towards me. Okay, just four that's marking. It's ever so slight that I mean again it's probably better than most manufacturer kit in there. I mean that is I don't think I'll get any any more tinkering with that. That'd be to the point that it's probably on the edge where it's going to then start to get awkward to use. Okay, so there's our key. It's not all the way in, so push it all the way in. Okay, it's not the best quality cylinder, and the tail's just slapping around, so that's adding a bit of resistance. And that is how I go about making a key to a cylinder. Okay, other people are going to have their methods. Um, and there's no real right or wrong way as long as you have a working key at the end of it. Okay. Um, again, you could spend a little bit more time shaping this, but obviously you don't want to go down into the cuts. As soon as you go down there, you're going to alter that. But I could look at reshaping that, probably making that a bit more shallow. Okay. But again, just being careful not to go too far and ruin your hard work okay hopefully that's been helpful guys um any questions just pop them in the comments below please like share and subscribe stay humble and keep moving forward and uh, i'll see you in the next video thanks a lot guys